762 NATO, hands down, best military. No, weapon. absolutely. Dude, 9mm is the most produced cartridge in the world. Mm, most produced? Oh, over 762 by 39? Yes, absolutely over 762 by 39. Okay, it but, is the but, most okay. produced caliber in the world. Does, but we're not talking, if we're about talking production, rifle caliber. We're not talking production. 556. Five, okay, all right, first off, not talking production. We're talking about best overall. Okay, best overall, 556. Five, no, why? Dude, this hits so much harder. You can carry way more of this. It's still effective out to like 600 yards. Whatever, dude. Let's talk about this subject, how about it? Before we even start talking about today's subject... Clint's wrong. I, that's not correct, but I just want to go ahead and point out that uh, Danny Defense has been watching. We are in no way sponsored. I had to spend money for this gun, but at least I got one. Yeah. And that's why we're talking about why 5.56 isn't the greatest military cartridge ever. That's going to be a hard one to argue, actually. That really yeah. is. But uh, before we go into that, let's go ahead and make our intros. Clint here with Classic Firearms, and we've got Alec back with us. What's up, guys? And uh, today's subject, if you haven't guessed, is all about the best military cartridges. And there's also some new things coming about that are kind of impressive that kind I spicy. that I would like to maybe pick y'all's brain about, especially if you're in that industry or in that manufacturer, maybe you could drop some knowledge down below. We'll get to that here in just a moment. But 556, it has been America's choice cartridge for our standard service rifle for a couple decades now. Freedom Seeds. Freedom Seeds all day long. Now, if you're talking about Freedom Seeds, you can't help but talk about poison pills. That's fair. And this is the 545 cartridge that Russia has been using, and uh, it is a very potent little guy, that's for sure. But if we're thinking about the best military cartridge, I mean, if we can we can say throughout history, but it would be something more modern, you know yeah. what I mean? Well, I mean, realistically, if you look at it, like, like since a, projectile wrapped in a brass case with a primer yeah. powder blah, right blah. Sure. so this is kind of where we've landed and where we've progressed to now obviously we're trying to progress further than that right but is it possible i don't know i mean we're we'll see because we've already talked about the 6.8 that's looking being looked at well yeah you know has been under you know testing and everything mm -hmm. else for actually a long time but now that we're starting to see sig kind of introduce all this and then there's also this polymer case stuff yep. which i maybe you guys have seen parts of this video or whatnot but i don't understand it i'm not smart enough dark to dark magic it. yeah but for whatever reason if you compare 308 brass to the 308 polymer case for whatever reason, the muzzle flash, the signature you're getting from the working end of the gun, yeah. is so much less from a polymer cased uh, cartridge. And I, and I that doesn't make any sense to me at all. Also, if yeah. you notice back towards like the receiver end, also out, you know, the ejection, yeah, like there's hardly any flash that's coming out back there. Also, especially like when if you put it, like if you slow the video down and watch it, yeah. like, and I'm gonna back up here a little bit. If you've seen that video where they shoot like multiple calibers and you can see all the like unburnt powder coming right. out the ends of the muzzles, this is kind of the same thing. So I don't know if there's less unburnt powder or if mm -hmm. it's a different kind of powder that's in the polymer casing. Maybe right. it burns cleaner. I don't know, but it still makes zero sense. Yeah, to me. It, it kind of blows my mind, but I'm thinking maybe like somehow all of the gases are actually getting burnt or most of them are getting burnt yeah, more so than a brass case. I don't know. But if we were to look throughout Let's just say modern history, mm -hmm. right? Let's talk about 762 NATO, which is pretty much ultimately think 30 out six of the M1 Garand, uh, the 1919 things like that, the mm -hmm. BAR, and they're just like, hey, you know what? It'd be really cool if we had that same type of mm, power, but in a little bit smaller cartridge, and that's what we've got in the 308 or 762 NATO. Fantastic little cartridge. It was the standard issue cartridge for a short time yeah, with the M for the <laughs> M14, it's which over is there. over there. <laughs> <laughs> we can change out the gun yeah. so much I don't even remember. So, super cool cartridge though because it's still in use today mm -hmm. uh, with the M240 and, and likeness. Which and, slaps, yeah. by the way. Yeah, and also too with uh, guns, try not to scream, try not to God. run and hide, but with guns like this guy right here, yeah. which I think, it's, it's actually growing on me. You're disgusting. How often have you actually like trained or run drills with this gun though? I've shot a scar a few times. Okay. Not like obviously every day, nowhere near as much as you have, yeah. obviously, because I 
work for a living. I don't get to mag dump 50 cows into a pink Ford Ranger or go to the range every day. But, Somebody's salty that their job isn't mine. Yeah. Anyway. But at the end of the day, the times that I have shot this car, just didn't do it. Unimpressed, for me. yeah. Just. I mean, it's cool. Like, I mean, yeah. obviously, if you gave me one, I would have one. Sure. For, yeah. For free. Yeah. For but free. yeah, I mean, as far as me like picking this baby up every day and like, yes, I want to go train with this yeah. thing. I want to get better on it and employ it. Nah, it didn't do it for me, dog. Yeah, I feel you on that. So, it's taken a little bit, like I said, for me to uh, build up to it some. And you know, we were recently hanging out with uh, Texas Plinking, and mm -hmm. he said you guys need to hop on the Scar 16 train. And I'm like, well. I don't know. Let us know down in the comment section below. How would you like to see that? Maybe a, I don't know, a Scar 16, Scar 17, Scar 20. Yeah. Just have the whole family. RIP to the ACR. Uh, That's one we never talk about. Yeah, that is one that is actually, yeah. Maybe, I think the ACR kind of slaps. Oh, did, I So I, we recently also did a video about uh, top five guns that should be made, and I said an ACR Gen 2. That's fair. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. We're getting we're, way we're off, off topic. Yeah. 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 So uh, anyway. <clears throat> All right. Cool. So we saw the 308, right? We saw the 308. It kind of got knocked down as far as being the standard issue service cartridge, I guess I could say, the standard issue cartridge. Mm -hmm. And that's when the 556 came about. And the entire science behind this cartridge is kind of cool. It's like, hey, uh, velocity is what really messes you up, yeah. right? Terminal so, effect on target. That That's exactly right. And on top of that, okay, we are also doing a lot of movement, mm -hmm. a lot of traveling through the jungle, yeah. all sorts of stuff. Trying to carry as many of these as you can to these, mm -hmm. it gets heavy real quick. I don't know if you guys have ever done a type of size comparison, uh, but think about it, something as simple as like a 147 grain projectile compared to a 62 grain projectile, that difference means a lot, especially when you start stacking yeah. hundreds on top of you. Mm -hmm. so, Ounces equal pounds. Pounds, pounds equal pain, that's right. And you know, we weren't the only ones that kind of figured that out because yeah. Russia did the same thing with the 762 by 39 which is still a phenomenal cartridge as we mm -hmm. all know, but they've come down to 545. Yep. And I gotta tell you, I really like the 545 and to represent it, still have this guy in our, should I say it, arsenal? Yeah. Um, uh, because this thing is, just watch your face. Yeah, so to say, <laughs> there we go. This thing is awesome. Let me go ahead and move my now beloved Mark 12. Yeah. And uh, the 545, out of, out of this. I'm gonna be honest, 545 kind of slaps. Dude, it is all around just a awesome, awesome guy. So first off, You've got the same dimensions as the 762 by 39, but a much smaller projectile. So you've got all that powder and everything right behind here, mm -hmm. and it is just, it's a fast little guy. Yeah. So if we're seeing that, I mean, I think we're about due, man. It's been decades since these cartridges have come into the game. Mm -hmm. And with the advancement of technology and everything else that we're getting, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of curious to see where this polymer case stuff goes. I mean, goes. honestly, I figured we'd have like laser beams by this point. Like, well, according to tomorrow or, or in about 30 years, we will. So, okay. yeah. Well, they're still using the... <laughs> That's an obscene movie. <laughs> so that was a joke because yeah. a seven and a half inch 5.56... Obscene. You would think 30 years from now, they were, they were getting their butts kicked by these aliens. Dude, if you can time travel, out. you can have more than some Hera furniture in a seven inch barrel. No offense to Hera. I mean, you make cool stuff, but. But, but at the Jesus. same time, dude, we should be able to like, the yeah. scar should be chambered in 50 cal at that point. You should be able to run around like yeah. aliens. Yeah, dude, that, that, that Ma Deuce murked oh, them yeah. aliens, bro. Yeah, murked. speaking of Ma Deuce and 50 cals, for me, is the number one military cartridge. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, realistically, also this is looking at being replaced, yeah. right? With like mm -hmm. the MG338. Yeah. And, and our, or at least for America's standard, like service cartridges, like, like I said, this is kind of where we've landed and we yeah. have not shifted anywhere past this point in yeah. quite a really long time. So, I mean, other than like the civilian market, now they've made things like Black Hills comes to mind, like yeah. the 77 grain, um, yeah. you know, match ammo, which is great. Plus with 77 grain out of, I guess, depending on your barrel, like you mm -hmm. still have really good effects on target. Obviously not as much as like 62 grain because it's right. a lot faster, but Comparing sizes too, I mean, it makes more sense, at least in my mind, to go with something that's smaller, but also yeah. speedier. Right. Um, and again, capacity is a big thing that comes down to me because ultimately at the end of the day, yeah, tactics, blah, 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 whatever, but bullets are gonna win a gunfight, right? Yeah. So right. obviously 
if you're a better shooter, you can win a gunfight, but kind of if you got more bullets, you stand a better <laughs> chance of, of winning a gunfight, right? You can miss so, a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like COD, right? Like if I'm shooting at like 50, 60, 70, 80 meters, you yeah. know, guns that shoot a lot faster and have bigger mags, like you can be doing all right. Yeah, you Instead can do of it. like a, you know, Odin or something stupid. Right, yeah. So, okay, all right. But as far as a standard issue cartridge goes, the 5.56 as of right now still reigns true as the key. Yes. Right? Um, if you're looking for your medium weight machine guns, you know, 7.62 NATO in the United States military, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it still works so yeah. well. But if you're looking for them heavy boys, yeah. I mean, dude, the 50 BMG, so first off, look at it, right? Let me just go ahead and tell you, let me just go ahead and show you how versatile this cartridge is, okay? Yep. You've got a 20 inch M82 behind me, CQB. Mm -hmm. 29 inch, longer distance. And if you need to lay down a whole bunch of fire, you Mod got the Mod Deuce. That's fair. And then and I, really, I, honestly, you want to talk about time. The Mod Deuce has been around for a very yeah. long time. Yeah, before World War II, right? Shortly yeah, after World like, War yeah, I. Shortly after. I mean, that's what BMG stands for, the Browning, Browning machine gun. Yeah. So pretty cool stuff. And then we could talk about 20 mil, 30 mil. Yeah. Also, just to throw in there, because I know someone's going to scream 7.62 by 54R for like oh, a yeah. Russian caliber, yeah. like intermediate machine gun. Yeah, for, we just don't for have like one the 308. Yeah. But, um, uh, but yeah, 7.62 by 54R, I love that cartridge yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. So. But uh, what about you guys? What are some of your most favorite military cartridges? What do you think as of right now is the number one military cartridge? I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and be and say it. I mean, sure, I might have a little bit of a bias, but 5.56. Five, 5.56. Five, five, yeah, that's where, that's where it's gonna be. And I'm in here. <laughs> wait, 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 we didn't even say it. I gotta say it once. Okay. 45 ACP. The fact that there's like <laughs> Rakondo units still using 1911s just blows my mind. Dude, have you not like, seen like so? Do you follow you follow the Marines on Instagram, yeah, yeah. right? Do you, they'll show you every now and then like the Marsat guys. Yeah, they have like the a stupid like steel lanyard. I'm like, yeah. dude, stop. Yeah, dude, with the well, uh, with the M45s. Yeah, I, I do love yeah. those guns. You know, I mean, no, oh, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. sick. Yeah. But like, would I really want to take one to combat? I would probably just rather have a Glock, but you know, RIP Glock. So M18. Yes. <laughs> So, oh well, there's it, that. it is what it is, but all right, we've already talked about it, but let's go ahead and show it off a little bit more. The M82A1, and if you can guess, this thing has been around for, I don't know, since the 80s, and this thing is sweet. So, code word flare, F-L-A-I-R, I'll just go ahead and get that out of the way before a lot of you guys that are saying, oh, I guess. Flare. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, but, but a lot of you guys noticed that, and it's like, oh, I forgot to mention the code word. There was a lot happening that day. If I was, I'm upset that the code word is not Ranger. Yeah, I mean, you could probably try it, or try Ford, see if it works. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, this is a beast. It is the 50 BMG. Grab that cartridge one more time. It shoots 10 of these guys out of its 10 round mag, semi-auto, and I think just about every American, every proud American should have one of these guys here. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, case of zombies or pink Ford, Ford Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it off there, guys. Hey, as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. We'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com. Hit that top banner to get all those entries. Don't miss out.